everyone, my name is Sushmita and I am an advisor for Uneuralight. In our previous video, we talked about ACT. In this session, we are going to talk about the differences between SAT and ACT. We will also address the fundamental challenges that most students face while preparing for these tests. Now, the most important question, which of the two tests should I take? Well, you can take either. Universities have no preference. But we feel that if you are an art student and English is your stronghold, then you should take the SAT since they do not have a science section. And if you are a science student, you should take the ACT. But again, it varies from student to student and you should choose for yourself. A tip from us, you could try and take a diagnostic test for both and decide from there. Is the essay section on both the tests compulsory? No, the essay sections are not compulsory, but it is preferred that you take it. Top US universities require you to write the essay on either of the two tests. What is a super score? Let me explain that to you with an example. Let's say you took the SAT twice. The first time you scored a 700 in math, but a 600 in English. The next time you scored a 700 in English, but a 600 in math. So your individual scores for both tests would be 1300 out of 1600. But your super score would be 1400 out of 1600. Confused? Super score is basically the best sectional scores from all the tests that you have taken. Some universities accept super scores while others don't. Similar is the case for the ACT. Is formal preparation required? Yes, we would recommend it. Often students feel that they can manage it on their own. But most of the time we have seen students struggle with these tests. These tests often follow certain rules and tricks that can be used to ace them. We would suggest that you go to a nearby tutor or a test preparation center to receive guidance. Try searching online for local SAT or ACT test centers. How many times can you take the SAT or ACT? Well, there is no limit to how many times you can take the two tests. But we feel that you should not take the tests more than three times. Over a period of time, we have seen that students don't improve drastically and their scores remain the same. Moreover, universities sometimes ask for an explanation if you take either of the two tests more than three times. Do scholarship depend on these scores? Yes, they do. The higher the score, the better the chances of admissions as well as the scholarship. So give it your best shot. What is a good score? This is a very difficult question to answer. And there is no one good score. Every university has a different requirement and the average admission score for each university varies. You can simply find it out by searching SAT score requirements for your dream university online. But we recommend getting the highest score possible. Are there some universities that do not require SAT and SAT? Yes, there are some universities that do not require either of the two tests. So, it's not the end of the world if you don't score well after three attempts. These universities are called test optional and you can find a list of these schools online. We hope that you found this video helpful. If you have any more questions, please write them in the comment section below and our team will get back to you. In the next video, we will be talking about TOEFL and IELTS. So please like, share and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to know more about how to apply abroad, log on to www.unerally.com. Our counsellors on the website will give you everything you need to go ahead. See you next time.